I don't think I could play the role that you're playing now. But this is me. I'm letting it all hang out. No, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't. This ain't me. I mean, I, I think that you... I mean, you're thinking of 60 yeah. things at once. How is it going? Yeah. Is it getting dull? Is he, is he upset and distressed and inarticulate? Is he, uh, uh, is he bored? Is he offended? Um, yeah, here's a good time for a joke. We haven't got much time. That you, you're thinking about nine million things and reacting to what I say. And is that, how's that going to be? Is that going to be offensive? No, that's good. And so you're doing this, this editing at an insane rate. And uh, I mean, and, and you have to do that. And that's your job. And you have this demeanor of of uh, levity and lightness and uh, amusement and zest and uh, and it's 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 easy to ascertain that that finally isn't what goes on in your mind or your feelings at all i just feel like all my clothes have been taken off <laughs> <laughs> no but that's 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 uh, that's something that i couldn't do i couldn't do what you do and that's that's yeah. a different kind of acting. You're playing a different kind of role. But anyway, we've we've done enough. We've made enough concession. To uh, what's what are you doing there? Oh, nothing. I just have a commercial to do. <laughs> and you say you couldn't do it. Let's see if you're any good at it. Uh, all you do is look up and uh, read off the. Uh... As they say in commercial, them have fun with it. <laughs> no, I won't do it. I'm glad you didn't. I, what do you mean, ah, oh, the man's incorruptible and that's what I hoped. How long since you tried a new shade of eyeshadow? There are 25 beautiful colors, super rich shadow by Revlon. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> you made me even more self-conscious now. I feel like a kid who's, uh, look, what is it? Stevie Wonder gave me this on the airplane today, and and uh, it was very nice. He took it off his wrist and uh, said, "I want you to have this." And yeah. I was, it was very, very nice of him. Very kind of him. Well, let me ask you something. Yeah. Um, or several. I was going to say, I feel like a kid in a candy store because I only have, we can only take about two pieces out of all the things I want to talk to you and ask you about. I'm interested in so damn many things about you. Uh, were you happy with the way The Godfather came out? I'd rather not talk and about movies. Uh, I don't think they're... Uh, uh. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, if, if we could figure out some way... Did to... you like the book, The Godfather? Uh... <laughs> Well, uh, we have so well. I we have so little time to talk about Indians, okay. uh, and there's so much to say about them uh, that I I think to talk about movies and stuff like that is is, is such a, a misuse of time. But then I'm your guest, and uh, I don't want to horn in on what your program is going to be about. Uh, I wouldn't want you to. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll talk about something. It bugs me that you, over the years, have acted so little. And uh, it seems like there must be about 14 great plays and great films uh, that you ought to do and ought to make. And I, I worry that this feeling that, you, uh, that acting is not a noble profession for a man maybe is what's kept you from it. Um, um, I can now move on to something else, if you like, but uh, does that observation bug you at all? No. Is it none of my business? Are the roles you wish you'd played, you crave acting? No. It's been a good living. Yeah. I mean, if you were in the lumber business and you went on the Dick Cavett show and somebody says, well, how do you like the lumber business, Ralph? <laughs> It is a business. It's no more than that. And uh, uh, those who pretend that it's an art, I think, are misguided. And uh, uh, acting is a craft, and it's a profession not unlike being an electrician, plumbing, or an economist. 
the way of getting on and providing food and shelter for yourself and family. Um, may, may I ask you one thing here? Uh, you've referred a couple times to things you did to make up for certain things you had done in the past. This is in an interview with Truman Capote. And you referred to the wild one as we're, one of the things you want to make up for. We're back at space one. And uh, I, I don't think that it's, it's useful to, to refer to, uh, you know, confirm or deny anything that was written in the press. It's, it's mostly money-oriented, and uh, yeah. I, therefore I don't think it has any value. OK. Tell me then, when way back in the 50s, when you got interested in, when you were interested in the Indians' fishing rights, before it was fashionable to be so. Uh, what triggered that? I read a book called um, Indians of the Americas. Uh, and uh, I, I, after reading the book, realized that I knew nothing about the American Indian and that everything that we are taught about the American Indian is wrong. Uh, it's inaccurate. And our school books are uh, hopelessly lacking, perhaps criminally lacking, in uh, revealing what our relationship was with the Indian. When we hear, as we've heard throughout all our lives, no matter how old we are, that we are a country that stands for freedom, for rightness, for justice, uh, for everyone, uh, it simply doesn't apply to those who are not white. Uh, it just simply doesn't apply. And we were the most rapacious, aggressive, destructive, torturing, monstrous people who swept from one coast to the other, murdering and causing mayhem among the Indians. There's one Indian in there. <laughs> And that isn't revealed, because we don't like that image of ourselves. Uh, we, we don't like to see us. We like to see ourselves as perhaps John Wayne sees us. And, uh, uh, that, and also, what we've learned about the Indians has been largely taught to us by Hollywood and by motion pictures. They have educated us. So we naturally believe that when the Indians came, that the wagon circled and the Indians rolled, rode around and, and subjected themselves to uh, terrible uh, fire and died at a ratio of 65 to 1. Both barrels of a shotgun would always get two Indians. Uh, yeah, and uh, that wasn't the way it was at all. But anyway, uh, Indians have been tragically misrepresented in films and uh, in our history books, in our attitudes, in our uh, reporting. And um, so we must set about to re-educate ourselves. Who are you looking at? You. Oh, oh no, th there's a message coming. But, oh, OK. No, I can... huh? uh, one thing I wanted to get into on that, too, was the subject of not only how the Indians treated on the screen, but off the screen. I know well, a guy who was you, in it. Let me tell you another thing. At a time when, when we say, especially, that we are going to keep our treaties, and that we do keep our word, and that uh, we, above all people, do keep our word. Uh, it, I think it's important to mention that there have been nearly 400 treaties written by the United States in good faith with the Indians, and every single one of them was abrogated. It means broken, or changed, or altered. No, yeah, no exceptions. And the Indians howl when, uh, with laughter, I guess, when they hear a public figure like a president uh, saying other nations will laugh at us if we don't honor our treaty commitments. Oh, yeah. uh, when they can think of 400 and, I don't know what the exact figure is, 31 examples of how we haven't in the past, and this would only be the 432nd case of it if we didn't. But uh, I do go on. But we have a message. We'll be right back. I remember uh, come, some years ago I read a, a piece by James Wexler, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. And he said that I don't think there's anybody who's as concerned, or a few people that I've met care so much about the quest for human dignity, something like this that we're involved in right now. Uh, that was referring to the Civil Rights Movement. Um, did you ever meet Rosa Parks, or something, the lady who... No, I never did. ...who uh, refused to give her seat to yeah. a white man on a bus in, was it Atlanta? And it kind of kicked off the whole uh, bus protest. Birmingham. Uh, was it in Birmingham that it happened? Yeah. 